hey youtube welcome back to my channel today i'm just gonna do a really quick video and this is gonna be my first lock talk video all right and i have my little notebook here so that i can make sure that i touch on everything that i have planned to um since it's the first time i'm doing one of these type of videos so just a quick update on where i am i'm three months into my lock journey i did i believe maybe two weeks ago post a three month update so check the link below to check that video out um so i haven't really changed much of what i've been doing other than i've been wetting my hair less and palm rolling less and i did say in the three month update video that i was not going to retwist my hair until five months so basically i have been semi free forming i guess you can say that um and i'm gonna do that probably until i see it necessary to change that i don't know i don't really like my hair as i stated before in the other video when it's really fresh because it looks really thin and i'm kind of starting to embrace this yeah so all right and if you're not sure what freeforming is if you are uh new to the whole lock community or if you're thinking about freeforming uh your locks or starting your locks i should say um when i know a little bit more about it i will do an update video speaking about semi freeforming locks since that's what i'm trying to transition into um However, there are a ton of videos and ton of blogs out there, so do some research. Alright, and let's see, what else has been going on with my hair? Um, yeah, so I want to color. I believe I'm going to color my hair jet black. Only because, I don't know, my whole life I have maybe touched on a little bit of color, not so much. Um... But for the most part, I use black because I feel like it coats my hair and it just looks better and it has more shine. So, yeah, still up in the air about when I'm going to do it because I think it might be kind of soon. I'm not All right, sure yet. so anyway, lock talk. The first thing I want to talk about is faux locks. For some reason, on YouTube, as I was searching and doing some research starting my own locks and getting information I come across so many videos with people speaking about faux locks now I don't understand what the big problem is maybe because I wore faux locks um, but some people do it because they want to appear to have locks or they like the look and they don't want to commit but that's not why I did it I wore them because I ultimately knew I wanted to lock and I wasn't sure what I would look like with locks so it kind of helped me get an idea on the size and yeah so here's a couple pictures of that Um, I don't know. I just, I haven't come across any videos where someone was saying something negative about someone who wore locks. I just see a bunch of videos, people saying the same thing I'm saying, that they don't really see much wrong with it to each its own, if that's what you want to do. But, so just much with, I guess, people of other races doing it but there are other races that actually lock their hair and then you start to tap into this whole cultural appropriation and it's just it's too much i don't really want to get into it i really don't care what someone else does with their hair i just wanted to address the fact that if for some reason you think you want to lock your hair i am a huge advocate for trying faux locks first um because that will give you an idea of what you may possibly look like or what size you think would look best on you. Um, that's right. what I did. So, anyway, I now starting my locks and entering into lock communities online, I get a lot of questions from uh, people who want to lock their hair and 
that's what I'm here for to share my journey and then maybe help someone else along the way because there's so many people that I got help from uh, whose videos that I can look at um, and I just encourage them to do some research um, because I can't answer a bunch of questions and to me everyone's journey is different I find that looking at a bunch of videos on YouTube everyone hair is different I see multiple different hairstyles being tried they all come out different um, I see uh, locks where they are gorgeous and they use all store-bought products and their hair look amazing it's healthy I also see horror stories um, with you know traction alopecia starting and you know perfect locks where they started out really really pretty uh, this amazing grid pattern and then all of a sudden five years in and then all of this is eight out like I fear that kind of stuff so um, I have a cousin who asked me to start her locks for her and I'm gonna do them I have absolutely no problem with doing them but when I started asking her how do you want to start them what do you mean like she had no idea and that's where I was with it but I just want to encourage anyone that's out there like her because I've seen people start their locks and then after about the second month and that budding start they take them out or cut it off or you know they decided it's not for them like really know what you're getting yourself into and understand that this is a commitment that you're making to yourself to your hair like you have to live with this you have to go to work like this you have to be able to address society when someone has something to say about your hair like this it's not an easy journey and I'm grateful that I was able to look at other people's journeys and be able to understand and know exactly what I'm getting myself into so I have three tips that I'm gonna give to anyone who is wanting to start their locks the first one are you ready research all right and then number two research and number three that's right you guessed it research do your research I can only answer so much someone who has had their locks for 10 years five years seven years they can answer anything under the Sun unless they're a loctician and they study the locks and know it a lot they can have a you know a lot of information to provide you with but that's a part of research so do some research because hair texture has a lot to do with it um, the length of your hair and what's better for your hair texture and the length of your hair and whether or not your hair is damaged if you should start locks if you already have a good natural hair care regimen would it be a good idea for you to start locks until you really understand what the natural hair needs it's a lot and I wouldn't want someone to go natural been natural for a while and then jump into getting locks and then later to only find out that it's not for me and you've wasted time because our time is precious and it is your hair and most people say well it'll grow back that's true but look at your hair as an extension of yourself why go through putting your hair through something that's gonna damage it only to just say it'll grow back and I can say that because I used to be that person now, if there is anything that I regret about my locks and that is that I did not start my locks 10 years ago yeah that I didn't start 10 years ago um, so other than that um, just do some research guys find out as much information as you can and if you do decide to do it embrace it because it becomes a part of you and if you allow it to the journey itself can be so inspirational for others and it can be almost like a self-help it can be spiritual it can be whatever you make it whatever you put into it that's what you get back out of it um 
that's pretty much all that I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to get some things out there um, because I have gotten a couple questions from a few people that, hey, I've been natural for a little while. I want to start some of my logs. Um, what do you think I should do? It's not about what somebody else thinks that you should do, but more so that you do some research and you find out what you should do. Find you someone who's, find a log star. Find a lock star, your lock crush, screenshot a couple pictures in your phone, that'll motivate you once you get started. Um, I did hear a couple people say do that, and I'm constantly on Tumblr, I'm constantly on Pinterest, I even Google pictures sometimes just to see um, different looks to give me some kind of inspiration, because I'm not going to lie, some days you wake up and it's like... What is going on with my hair? Like, my hair. My hair. That's all I can say. Is my hair. Gee. Your hair. And I don't know if it's because it's... I don't know. It's just some days... I wake up and I'm like, oh, it looks amazing today. And other and days I wake up and it's like, oh. Uh, what can I wear today that's going to look okay with a head wrap? So, yeah. just do some research and if you have any questions that or want to know who you should follow, um... If you're on Instagram, I can say one of my, the two communities that I pretty much follow the most is Lockology and Lock Living. Yeah, I'm going to say those two. I pretty much follow those the most. And most people who I follow, um, a few people that I follow who post their lock journeys, they pretty much follow the same two. Um, there's tons though. There's tons. Now, I wouldn't just stick to those two. There's multiples that I um, check out you know plenty but they post the most on my timeline that's what I see the most out of maybe five or six different pages that I follow they post the most so that's why they come to mind automatically um but yeah just do some research please and make sure that your hair is healthy before you start that is key you don't want to start locks on unhealthy hair and make sure that it's what you want and that you are at a point in your life where you really could care less about what somebody else thinks or has to say because believe me when I tell you there's gonna be people who are going to look at you in your face and say oh you started your walk. And that's it. If you're used to, oh, I like your hair. Oh, I like your hair. Ooh, that like is your gonna hair. come to a halt. But it's okay as long as you're doing it for you and not for that reason. So, yeah, that's all I want to say. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you stayed long enough to watch this video about me rambling, um, lock talk. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Um, I'm still learning myself, so if you are further in your journey and for some reason you stuck through watching this video, because I'm pretty sure there's a ton that you can tell me that I don't know, leave it below. Um, leave me some links, some things I can check out. I really appreciate that, and see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.